Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about the level of significance and the one-tailed and two-tailed test. Significance is defined as the quality of being statistically significant. Level of significant, it is denoted by alpha or uh, using this symbol, refers to the degree of significance in which we accept or reject the null hypothesis. 100% accuracy is not possible in accepting or rejecting a hypothesis. The significance level is also the probability of making the wrong decision when the null hypothesis is true. In public health research, alpha is usually 0.01 or 1%. In social science, alpha level is usually 0.05 or 5% and 0.10 or 10% in other studies. This implies that there is 1%, 5%, or 10% probability of rejecting a true null hypothesis. In symbol, it is written as, so, pwede the level of significance natin is equal to 0.01, or the alpha level is 0.01, or the alpha level is 0.05, or the alpha level is 0.10. Pero kapag yung alternative hypothesis natin class, ang symbol natin ay not equal, okay, so uh, alam natin naman yung mga salita na kung kailan tayo gagamit ng not equal, so yung mga different from, not, yung may mga not, no? So kapag yung alternative hypothesis natin, gumamit ng symbol na not equal, then the alpha level will be divided by 2. So, the alpha level for 0.01 divided by 2, that is 0.005. And then, the alpha level for 0.05 divided by 2, that is 0.025. And the alpha level for 0.10 divided by 2, that is 0 0.05. So, for example, Maria uses 5% level of significance in proving that there is no significant change in the average number of enrollees in the 10 sections for the last 2 years. So, ibig sabihin, this chance of the, the null hypothesis would be rejected when it is true is 5%. So, using the normal curve, so, itong nakikita nyo, itong shaded na to, this is the area, no? So, this is the area under the normal curve within the rejection region. Okay, so, the reje uh, rejection region ang tawag natin dito. Okay, so, yung naka-shaded region na to. Another, so, let's determine the value of alpha level or the alpha level divided by 2 based on the alternative hypothesis in decimal form. So, tatandaan natin, uh, ginagamit lang natin to kapag yung alternative hypothesis natin ay merong not equal or yung gagamit tayo ng not equal. So, in 2015, it was recorded that around 34% of the population in 2015 were not married. A researcher surveyed a, a random sample of 500 couples. So, he found out that 18% of them were living together but unmarried. Tests at 5% significance level in the current percentage of unmarried couples is different from 34%. So, yung uh, significance level natin dito is 5%. So, meron ba tayong palatandaan or may clue pa tayo na uh, masasabi natin na yung alternative hypothesis natin is not equal? Yes, yung salitang different from. So, yung salitang different from, so, uh, kapag na-represent natin in symbol, diba, that is not equal. So, therefore, it, dito tayo kukuha ngayon. Since yung level of significance natin is 5%, so kalahate, eh, i-divide natin by 2, so that is 0 0.025. So yung alpha level natin, divide it by 2, the answer is 0 0.025. Next. An average construction worker hourly rate pay in the Philippines is 62.50 pesos with a standard deviation of 6.01 
A random sample of 20 manufacturing workers were asked on their hourly rate and found out that they had an average of 50 pesos hourly rate pay with a standard deviation of 5 pesos. Construct a 90% confidence interval that the average hourly rate for construction worker is higher than the average hourly rate for manufacturing workers. So, meron ba tayong palatandaan or clue na ang alternative hypothesis natin ay not equal? Wala naman. Kasi yung word dito is higher than. So, therefore, dito tayo ngayon kukuha. So, what will be the alpha level? That is 90%. Uh, what is the confidence interval? Is 90%. So, therefore, the alpha level is... Uh, Babawasan lang natin, no? 100 minus 90, so that is 0.10. So, therefore, the alpha level is 0 0.10. Next. A chem is invented and additive to increase the lifespan of rechargeable battery. So, the said additive will extend on average the battery lifespan to 48 months. Test the hypothesis at 0.01 level of significance that the average lifespan is higher than 48 months. So, well, may clue ba tayo na ang alterna alternative hypothesis natin dito ay uh, not equal? So, wala. No? Kasi yung ginamit is, na word is higher than. So, therefore, dito tayo ngayon. What will be the uh, alpha level of the alternative hypothesis? That is 0 0.01. Okay, so nandiyan na mismo sa problem. Another example, the average number of years to finish basic education is 14. A sample of 30 senior high school students were asked and found out that the mean number of years to finish their basic education is 12 with a standard deviation of 2 years. Test the hypothesis at 93% confidence interval that the average number of years to finish uh, finish basic education is less than 14 years. So, ang ginamit naman dito is less than, so in, uh, hindi siya not equal. So, therefore, dito tayo kukuha ngayon. So, the alpha level dito natin, ano kaya? Since the confidence interval is 93%, so 100 minus 93, that is 7%. So, convert into decimal, so... The alpha level is 0 0.07. Okay? Next, a sample of 100 private school students were surveyed whether they plan to transfer to public school in the incoming school year. Results shows that 40% of these students will transfer to public school. Test the average number of private school students that will transfer to public school is not 40% at 5% level of significance. So, meron tayong clue na not 40%. So, therefore, uh, ang alternative hypothesis natin dito is not equal. With, so, ano yung alpha level natin? 5% or that is, so, yung alpha level natin, since yung alternative hypothesis natin is uh, not equal, okay, bisa clue word natin, so, Yung 5%, hati natin sa 2. As a, ihati natin. So, i-divide natin yung 5% or 0 0.05 divided by 2. The answer is 0 0.025. Kaya ito yung sagot natin. Okay, next is the two-tailed test versus the one-tailed test. So, paano ba natin malalaman na yung problem natin is a two-tailed test and a one-tailed test? So, when the alternative hypothesis is two-sided, so, alam natin na kapag uh, nakakita kayo ng symbol na not equal, so, ang tawag natin dyan, it is a two-tailed test. So, kapag yung problem, so, yung alter alternative hypothesis natin, ang, kapag ang ginamit na symbol is not equal, so, ibig sabihin, that is a two-tailed test. Pero kapag ang ginamit, nung ano natin, alternative hypothesis natin is less than or greater than, then it is called a one-tailed test. Okay, to recall, recall lang natin. So, ano yung mga word na uh, pwede natin gamitin to symbolize equal sign? 
So kapag nakita yung saitang ano, yung not equal sign pala, no? So kapag nakita yung different from, change from, not the same as, so not equal ang gagamitin. So ibig sabihin, itong mga salita na to, uh, based dito, pwede natin masabi yung uh, isang situation na yan ay two-tailed test. Kasi based sa word at sa symbol na gagamitin natin. So kapag ang symbol na ginamit sa alternative hypothesis not equal, at okay yung mga salitang ito, ibig sabihin that is a two-tailed test. Pag greater than and less than, okay, so yung mga salitang ito, ito naman ay for one-tailed test. So kapag greater than, makikita natin sa right side nung uh, graph natin. Kapag uh, less than, makikita natin yung, uh, yung, ano nito, yung area nito sa left side nung normal curve natin. Okay, so recall lang naman yan kasi na uh, na-discuss ko yan dun sa lesson about sa null and alternative hypothesis. Okay, for example, the school regist uh, registrar believes that the average number of enrollees their school this school year is not the same as the previous school year. So we are going to use this symbol to represent the average number of enrollees last year. So yung null hypothesis natin, since may word tied, ay may ano tayo, dito may ginamit tayo not the same. So ibig sabihin, ang alternative hypothesis natin ay not equal. So the population parameter nung ano natin is, or the average number of enrollees last year. So equal to. And then, the alternative hypothesis is not equal kasi uh, dun sa statement natin, nandun yung word na not. So, is not equal to the average number of enrollees last year. So, kapag yung alternative hypothesis daw natin, okay, gumagamit ng not equal or yung ginamit is not equal, ito ay a two-tailed test. So, kapag pinakita natin using the normal curve, Ang two-tailed test is either positive or negative yan. Okay? So, itong mga shaded region na yan, that is the rejection region. Okay? Rejection region yan. Itong uh, hindi naka-shade, that is the acceptance. So, madidiscuss natin yan sa susunod na lesson. However, if the school registrar believes that the average number of enrollees this school year is less than the previous school year, then you will have, so anong alternative hypothesis natin dito? So, since may clue word tayong less than, so ang alternative hypothesis natin is yung symbol na less than. Okay? So, therefore, yung null hypothesis natin, that is equal to the uh, average number of enrollees last year, and then the alternative hypothesis natin is less than the average number of enrollees last year. So, kapag ang alternative hypothesis daw natin, gumagamit na itong symbol na to, less than, so this is the left-tailed test, at ito ay one-tailed one test. Okay, di ba? Kapag less than and ra, uh, greater than, it is a one-tailed test. So, kapag yan less than, so makikita natin yung graph natin, Okay, yung naka-shade natin, yung shaded region ay nasa left side ng normal curve natin. Alright, next. On the other hand, if the school registrar believes that the average number of enrollees this school year is greater than the previous school year, then you will have... Okay, nandiyan naman yung salitang greater than. So, uh, sa alternative hypothesis natin, yung symbol na gagamitin natin is greater than. So, use the right tailed when uh, the alternative hypothesis contains the symbol greater than. Okay? So, gagamit na tayo ng right tailed. So, uh, ibig sabihin, yung shaded region natin, makikita natin yan sa right side ng uh, normal curve natin. Okay, so it's your test yourself. So, determine if one tailed test or two tailed test fits the given alternative hypothesis. So, ano yung tatandaan natin? Yung mga salita na kapag um, for greater than and less than, ibig sabihin that is a one-tailed test. Pero kapag 
yung not equal, different from, yan ay uh, two-tailed test. Okay, kasi gagamit tayo ng symbol doon na not equal. Okay, for number one, the mean height of grade 12 students is less than 66 inches. For number two, the standard deviation of their height is not equal to 5 inches. Number three, male grade 7 and grade 12 students differ in height on average. Number four, the proportion of senior male student height is significantly higher than the higher than that of senior female students. Number five, the average grade of grade 11 students statistics is lower than their average grade in calculus. So sa number one, ano yung clue natin para masabi natin na ito ay one-tailed at two-tailed? So yung salitang less than. So yung less than, ibig sabihin ito ay one-tailed test. Number two, ano yung clue natin? Yung not equal. So kapag not equal, ibig sabihin it is a two-tailed test. Number three, okay, differ, okay, different from. So Ano yan? Not equal yung symbol yan, di ba? So, therefore, it is a two-tailed test. Number four, okay, yung salitang higher than. So, yung higher than, it is a one-tailed test. Kasi gagamit tayo dyan ng right-tailed. So, it is a one-tailed test. How about number five? So, lower than. Is lower than? So, same with less than, no? That is one-tailed thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial this is your guide in learning your math lesson your wow math channel